We live in a time of increasing hate. In Europe and around the world, we are seeing a growing backlash against human rights. Hate speech and divisiveness become more common every day. Disturbingly, such hate is often encouraged by political leaders, despite the responsibility that they have to uphold equality and protect human rights. Instead, some seek political gain by stalking fear and breeding intolerance. They often target groups who are already marginalized, such as LGBTI people, making them even more vulnerable. This is dangerous. There is ample evidence that shows how the hate speech of politicians and other public figures normalizes hate and discrimination. This leads to the perpetration of actual physical violence and puts lives at risk. It is a European problem as highlighted at the Equality March in Bialystok, Poland, this July, where participations were violently attacked by anti-LGBT demonstrators as police forces stood by. This was after a year where the LGBTI community was actively demonized by public figures in Poland, including government ministers and other politicians. Some cities even adopted declarations against so-called LGBT ideology. This harmful rhetoric normalizes hate and discrimination against LGBTI people. It encourages hate crimes and violence towards LGBTI people in action and in speech. When leaders say that hate is okay, then will be people who then act as if hate is okay, however wrong it might be. Hate speech and divisive rhetoric threaten all aspects of our lives. It is vital that we all stand against it, regardless of who we are.